welcome to YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. My name is Ina and today I'm going to cook for you Olivier salad. So this is Ukrainian food vlog. Uh, поехали! Let's get it started, guys! So today is Saturday and I haven't posted any new video lessons for my YouTube channel for the month because I was so busy with my course from absolute beginner to confident speaker and guys, I feel very tired and exhausted because um, I did a big uh, work to create this course. Uh, there are 25 lessons and uh, uh, I had to spend approximately eight hours to create one lesson for you, to write the uh, learning materials, to record the video lessons, to write the exercises, uh, to make some pictures, tables, maybe even more than eight hours, eight, ten hours to make one lesson. And this is the complete course that will help you to become a beginner uh, student in Ukrainian language and to learn the basic information about it. Okay, this is a short advertisement of my course, but this is a really great course, believe me, and I invested a lot of my energy, time, knowledge, experience in that course, so please check out some information about it, because uh, very soon I'm going to launch the second edition of this course, and I have right now a group of 26 students who participate in this course, and I lead them to this course, uh, I um, support them, I give them my uh, advice, uh, we have a chat and whatsapp so it's very intensive and productive work and uh, i will take a short break uh, in november and then i think we i'm going to come back to the second edition of the course and i'm going to take even a group of maybe 30 35 students guys so please check out information about this course so today is saturday сьогодні субота and uh, I don't want to do anything today, just uh, lie on my couch, watch TV series and to do some cooking. And I have already cooked borscht, let me show you. Um, a very big bowl of Ukrainian borscht, so let me just show you. Uh, so you see, uh, and uh, I don't know, we Ukrainian women we can't cook something in a small portions. Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine to cook borscht. I can just cook this big bowl and that's it. I can't imagine if I can uh, make a small one. And even if my family is me and my husband, there are only two of us. But anyway, I like to cook a lot. Uh, so today I'm going to uh, show you how I cook Olivier um, salad or you can also uh, call it potato salad or Russian salad or Olivier salad something like this and I want to tell you this is a very popular salad in uh, almost all post-soviet union countries not only in Russia and actually it was uh, created by um, one uh, chef of French origin in Russia in the 19th century. And still it is very popular salad and it's not an everyday uh, dish. We cook it for uh, some holidays, especially this is the main dish of the New Year's Eve. And borscht, this is our uh, everyday dish. And I can eat borscht even for breakfast, guys. I can eat it for breakfast for dinner, for lunch, but of course we usually eat it for dinner or for, for lunch, for example. But uh, Oliver salad is something that we cook, for example, for some holidays. And although there is no any holiday right now, but I want to just rest this uh, Saturday and eat a lot of food. I don't want to eat any junk food, although it's not very healthy one, but anyway, what ingredients you need to use, guys? You need to use uh, boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs with a hard and firm yolk, it's very important because you won't be able to make a good uh, salad. Also, I boiled a uh, potato and uh, you need to use unpeeled potato because when you peel it and boil, then it will become very soft and it won't be uh, very uh, easy to dice it and to put in the salad. Also, I'm going to use uh, canned green peas 
and we uh, usually as canned green peas not uh, fresh or for example frozen it tastes very nice for me and also I add uh, sausage it's called like bologna sausage um, and uh, pickles let me show you I have pickles and guys I have this big b bottles, three liters of pickles, and I want to tell you that my mom, she cooked, uh, she made this canned pickles, and you need to add not sweet ones, but sour ones, and it will uh, make this uh, salad spe more special. Uh, this potato was made by my, uh, I mean, my parents, they grew this potato. This is homemade eggs from my grandmother, and this is uh, pickles from my mother. She made it, a very big bottle, she gave me in a eat, and I'm going to add them to the salad, and for dressing, I'm going to add uh, mayonnaise. Uh, also, I want to show you some very interesting thing that everybody in Ukraine, we have uh, some storage, but we don't uh, save there some products that you can buy at the supermarket. We have homemade canned products. And I have a big, uh, a big amount of different uh, canned products. For example, you can see my mom. She made all this stuff for me. She made it. She all these products were uh, were grown on my garden uh, in the village. And I also can grow all type of uh, vegetables and fruit. And this is uh, canned uh, tomatoes from my garden. My mom made it for me. And this is uh, this is just like a sauce, homemade sauce they, that I can add, uh, for example, to eat with meat. This is also yellow uh, and uh, uh, red, very small uh, tomatoes, also very delicious. So I have uh, this is mushrooms, homemade mushrooms with the carrot, and this is uh, homemade canned pepper red pepper also very delicious so i have a lot of different products like this so anytime when i want to eat something or there is a quarantine there is no, not a big deal because i have a lot of food in my storage here that my mother made for me okay guys so let's get it started and you can see that i'm going to cook uh, a very typical uh, type of recipe of this uh, Olivier salad but uh, there are different uh, variations of this salad and some uh, people they can add for example ham instead of sausage or for example boiled chicken or boiled uh, pork it's up to you or some people can add uh, for example fresh peas or they can add, for example, sweet uh, pickles, but I believe sour is the best. Uh, so it can be different, but I want to show you the very typical sal uh, salad recipe of it. And also we usually add uh, boiled carrot, but <laughs> I'm out of carrots. So guys, I will cook it without carrot, but it's not a big deal. Carrot is not the most important uh, ingredient in the salad, believe me. So first of all, I'm going to peel uh, potato and I cooked it for 40, uh, 45 minutes in a boiled water and then eggs also uh, I cook them for 10 minutes in the boiled water so I just need to peel this everything and then I'm going to dice it so let's let's do it okay so let me just uh, peel it and then I will show you how I cook it so guys, I have already peeled potato. To peel potato, чистите картоплю. Чистите картоплю. Potato means картопля in Ukrainian language. Also, I peeled eggs. I don't know if you say to peel eggs, but we do. Чистите яйца. Eggs means яйца. And I added to the bowl a uh, zelený horošok, green peas, zelený horošok. So I start to dice eggs. Rizate yaitse. I boil six eggs, ten uh, potatoes. So I diced six. 
six eggs and now I add them to the piece. You can mix them. And now I'm going to dice potatoes. Actually, it doesn't matter uh, what ingredients uh, do you uh, add, in which order, it doesn't matter, actually, it's up to you. Okay, so the same with the eggs, we just dice, rizemo, kartoplo, we dice potato. The diced potato is ready. Kartoflia uh, gotova. I also added to the piece and eggs. You can also mix it. And now I'm going to dice kolbasu. Uh, Kolbasa it means sausage. Bologna sausage in Ukrainian language means varena kolbasa. Varena kolbasa. Maybe it will be enough and then I just take several pieces and also dice them. I diced all the big pieces of sausage and uh, let me just add it to my big bowl of salad and let me mix it. Oh my god, is this a very big? A bowl of salad, uh, but that's okay. We will eat it. Everything. Maybe I will invite my friends. I'm sure my husband will be very happy about this big bowl of salad. Okay, but that's okay. And I'm going to add the cucumbers. Perfect. Tastes very nice. And you don't need to add a lot of cucumbers because they are sour and you can make it too sour and this is just like like a spice that you add to the salad. Cucumber in Ukrainian language is ohirke, ohirke. and um, pickled cucumbers soloni Ohirke, we just call them salty cucumbers. Also, they can be marinated. Marinovani ohirke. I also dice cucumbers. So it's not difficult to make the salad. You just need to prepare everything, to buy all ingredients, to boil um, eggs and potato and also carrot. And also you don't need to add a lot of carrot. Then you need to uh, get ham or sausage or maybe meat, it's up to you to buy a green canned piece and also to get the cucumbers and you just need to dice everything, to mix everything together and to add mayo for dressing. So I diced some cucumbers and now I'm to add them to the rest of the salad. Okay, it's a very big bowl of salad. I will eat it the whole weekend and maybe Monday and Tuesday, but that's okay. So I think it will be enough. Okay, it is almost ready and now I need to add some salt and mayonnaise but actually I'm not going to uh, dress it with the mayonnaise right now because it's a very big bowl and it's better to save it like this uh, in the fridge because I'm going to eat it for several days and if you add mayonnaise uh, you have a chance that it can spoiled faster. So I'm just uh, going to uh, take a small bowl to add some salad and to dress it and then to try it. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. So I have a small portion of olivier and I'm going to add some salt, seal, 
just a little bit and some mayonnaise mayonnaise we call it mayonnaise in ukrainian language and now let's mix it No so, salad готовий. The salad is ready. Let me show you how it looks like. Also, you can add some uh, parsley. Petrushka. This is the parsley again from the uh, garden of my parents. You just add it for decoration, or you can just add it also as one of the ingredients. I don't usually add it here. So, smachnoho. Let's try. very nice okay now I have a holiday today guys if you really like my YouTube channel you can support it on patreon.com or you can just donate any sum of money to it please visit my online Ukrainian language school speak Ukrainian the website is speaky.com where you can find a lot of very useful learning materials and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, Instagram account speak Ukrainian language see you soon and papa bye bye